Hello Redditors, welcome back to Tales Against Humanity. Now, let's get started. In today's episode, 4 Password Resets in 10 Minutes. Going back to my first ever office-based IT job here, so some details may be a bit hazy. I worked as a first-line technician for a global financial firm. Our laptops had McAfee encryption, which required a password to be entered to unlock the drive for use. This was before the Windows login. There was a policy in place which prevented the passwords from being the same. Characters are me, me, and Goldfish, user with the memory capabilities of a Goldfish. Goldfish is a highly senior director of the branch office I worked at. Me, hello IT, how can I help? Goldfish, hello, I forgot my password. Can you reset it? Me, sure, which one is it, the first or second one? It's easier to refer to them as first and second as users got confused if you said encryption or Windows. Goldfish, first one please. Me, no problem, that's reset now and we'll ask you to create a new one. Me, hello IT, how can I help? Goldfish, yes, hello me I. Forgotten my password again me. Is this the second one this time? Goldfish, no, so the first one. Me, confused, oh, did the reset not work last time? Goldfish. No, it did, but I forgot the one I just set it to. Me. Okay, that's reset again. Please try to make sure it's something you remember. But um, write it down. You know how much manager hates seeing post-its with passwords laying around. Goldfish. Will do. Thanks again. Me. Hello, IT. How can I help? Goldfish. Yes, yeah, sorry, me again. I've forgotten the second password too. Me. No worries. That's been reset too, and we'll ask you to create a new one. Once you've set the new one, give the laptop a reboot to force a sync otherwise you might find the new password doesn't work for some systems. We had bespoke software that didn't like password changes, but a reboot fix that 9 slash 10 times. Goldfish. Thanks, you won't hear from me again, I promise. Me? Hello IT, how can I help? Goldfish. Me? You're not going. To believe this. Me? Laughing? First or second one? Goldfish. Second. I'm so sorry. Me, don't worry about it, that's what we're here for. That's reset again, but please do try to remember it this time. Goldfish, thanks. This time I promise I won't call back. If I forget it again, I'm just going home in shame. He dropped by my desk after lunch with a chocolate bar to apologize for wasting my morning. I assured him it's not a problem, but thanked him anyway. He's one of the good guys and phenomenal at his job, just notoriously useless with passwords. Story 2. Laptop on your lap. As I work in IT, I often get drafted into assist with friends and family with computer problems. So this one time a family member was having problems with their laptop overheating. After inspecting laptop it was properly toasty. So it didn't surprise me it was crashing. So I turned it over and looked at the vents on the underside, clogged up with fluff. I requested a vacuum and removed as much as I could without actually taking it apart. I turned it back on. At the table I was sat at, everything worked fine questioning the laptop owner about why it was clogged up with fluff. They said that it started getting warm, so they started putting a fleecy blanket on their lap and then the laptop on that. After about 30 minutes of explaining why this was not a good idea, their only go-to point was, if you're not supposed to put it on your lap, why is it called a laptop? Story 3. Is it online? Many years ago, I was the IT manager for a local newspaper. Because I was the manager, I was always on call. Our circulation department, the people who make sure that day's papers get delivered, start working around midnight. They printed their reports on a very old dot matrix line printer. I get paged around 2 a.m. from a district manager, telling me the printer isn't working. I run through the usual troubleshooting steps with her on the phone, including asking her to make sure the printer was online. She checked everything and assured me twice it was online. So I throw on some clothes and drive to the office. I walk in press the online button, and the printer starts spitting out her reports. She turned bright red and apologized. In all, I worked for maybe half an hour in the middle of the night, with less than two minutes in the office door-to-door. -door. Story 4. I'll never escape. I work in a help desk group, recently promoted to Tier 2. We have one large client in particular that is an absolute mess. The previous admins really screwed the pooch at virtually ever office, over 100 offices. Today, I picked up a ticket, that had been escalated to us from Tier 1. Subject, scanner not working. Call the user. 
spend 10 minutes figuring out that the scanner in question is for ID and other card type items. As I feared, this scanner interfaces with the EMR system that runs on Java in Internet Explorer. Another five minutes pass before the user is able to express what the scanner is supposed to do. It's supposed to scan both sides of the card, but it only scans one. My sisters in Christ, I will not say how long I spent frantically Googling. Eventually, I despaired and called my team lead. Literally a split second after I share my screen to demonstrate the issue, I see it. There in the print dialog is a setting for simplex or duplex. For those not in the know, in the context of printers and scanners, this means one-sided or double-sided. I set it to duplex and lo and behold, it scans both sides. Relieved, I inform the user that the issue has been fixed and demonstrate the setting in question. But I truly fear that I will never escape the bane of printers and scanners.